Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody has this box, pretty cool box. It's actually got a hinge. I don't know what these two pieces are. I figured out that this piece is the part that goes in the hinge. I would suggest don't cut this out and make a dowel or get a dowel. But well, we're gonna take these and I'm gonna rotate this thing to zero. Well, 270 degrees, whoop, 180 degrees and get it like this. The, the question is they wanna resize this box. Well, I'm not doing very good on this. They wanna make it bigger. And the problem is it's got tabs and the tabs are three millimeters for a three millimeter box. Now in this video, I am not gonna worry about increasing the size of the hinge. I'm just gonna increase the size of the join and we're gonna show you. I'm gonna hit T and put them all to the top. We're gonna do the sides first. These are evidently the holes for the hinges because they are, there are six hinges, so three on each side and that is a nine millimeter square hole, or at least that, and that would take up the three pieces of wood. All three of these boxes are the same, or all four sides are the same. I think I've flipped them around, but they will, they will all work. Let's flip them around. You wanna just make sure they kinda all nest, and I, I turn them. So all four of these boxes are the same. So we don't need them. We don't need any of these we, because they're the same. Every one of them is exactly identical with the exception of this one. So what we're gonna do on this one, we're gonna take and break the curve apart and then select these hinge parts. Whoop, I need to set my nudge factor on something higher grab these and I just noticed your duplicate distance is five millimeters. Change it back to zero because we'll actually use it and I'll show you why that's important. Now, this box is 100 millimeters wide. Let's say you want to make it 150 or 200 millimeters. Select the entire box. Make sure your ratio is locked and increase this by 150%. That made your box that much bigger. Then also I made my hinges. Let's go back. The hinge doesn't really matter. In this video, I'm not gonna show how to make the hinges. But, well, let's, let's do, do back up here and show this. It doesn't matter that your tabs are bigger this way. The importance in a box when you're changing the size is this right here, the three millimeter thickness of the wood. That's the only thing that matters. Everything else is relative. So we need to keep this at three millimeters. So let's go here and make this 150%. And now you'll see that our tabs are 150% longer. They're at 450, 4.5. How do we do that? Well, remember I said we only need one of these? Because we're gonna change this. And I didn't mean to do that. Nope, I don't wanna do that. Because uh, I'm using the, the hinge part of the lid. All we need to do is take our shape tool, grab all the left no outer left nodes, well, we need to change our nudge distance to 1.5, which would be 4.5 minus 1.5 is three. Grab all the left nodes and go right arrow key. Grab these, left arrow key. All the bottom ones, up arrow key. All the top ones, making sure you don't get any of the other. So now in that quick a time, we'll get the parallel dimension tool and we have a three millimeter thick hinge or a tab for a box. That's done. Now, in this video, I said I wasn't gonna change these. 
and I'm not, you would think you'd want to make it a little bit bigger hinges for a bigger box. Let's change our nudge factor. Well, let's just leave it. And as long as they're in the middle, they don't look like they are. I'm not. Center. Now let's just take our nut. Sorry about that. Take our nudge distance in two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make them a little bit spread or spread apart, and then they'll be equal. But I would seriously think about making the hinges bigger. So now Control D and make a duplicate, and just get rid of these parts. There's you. The other three walls. It didn't take any time. Now let's do this one. Hit P, put it in the center of the page. We don't need the bottom. Because we're going to use the duplicate key, Control D, make a duplicate, and because we put it in the center of the page, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go up to Object, Break Curve Apart, and I'm going to delete the inner part of this box. Then all we have to do is do the exact same thing we did on the other one. Our nudge factor should still be the same. Grab the up ones, down, grab the bottom ones, and you'll see them turn blue. I didn't catch any. Up, right, left, here old. So now, that's the bottom. Control D and make a duplicate. There's your bottom. Don't want to do that. We want to go break curve apart. Let's see if we can't just move this. Control G to group that together and hit P. There's your top. So you've got a bottom and a top and the four sides done. Now I would seriously, a couple of things I would seriously think about. I'm guessing this is the piece of wood they're going to put in the, in the hinge. I'd go to Hobby Shop and get a really thin dowel, a little bit bigger than a toothpick, re recalibrate your holes. I don't know what this interior part is, but and I would consider making my hinges bigger, and that would be just as easy as what we just did. Maybe it'll work because there are three ply of the three millimeter making nine millimeters of wood. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.